Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to install Eclipse. The reason why we're using Eclipse is because that we want to compile or code Java into this compiler. The reason why we're moving from Notepad++ to Eclipse is because that Eclipse is more easy to compile and code. Like for example, if you code and you made a mistake, then right away you should see like a error on next to your number line. And then you right click the the error under uh the line you got mistake. Yeah, you got a mistake, then you simply right click it and it'll show you how to fix it and everything like that. So that's one of the good things that Eclipse has to offer. And I'll show you the other features that they have to offer that they have to offer later. Alright, so make sure you're on this site, the eclipse.org. Once you're there, then you should be on this page. And then once you're there, click on this link right here, download Eclipse. And then you should be on this page. Alright, so we want to download this right here, the first one, the Eclipse IDE for developers, Java de developers. Either choose 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. It depends what kind of operating system you have. Like for example, I have a Windows 64-bit operating system. I'll choose this right here. But if you don't have Windows, then simply choose the other operating system. Since mine is Windows 64-bit, I'll choose the Windows 64-bit link right here. And then you should be on this page. And then you should click on this link wherever it pops up. You click on this link and then it should download right here. I already got it downloaded, so I just X that out or cancel. Yeah, show folder. Yeah, you should show a folder. You click on this, then uh, you should be able to see uh, your clips program right here. Yeah, you see all this folder right here or the files right here. We just want the eclipse.exe. So move this to the, uh, the shortcut or the desktop, and this is the wrong way how to do it to only make your Eclipse appear over here. I'll show you why once I click this. And you see that it says that there's like this there was an error. They cannot uh, locate the the shared library, so that's a bad thing because that dx uh, dot exe needs all these uh, files right here. So I'll delete that. Instead of uh, like highlight all these and drag it to this and make it look ugly on your desktop, we just make a shortcut instead. So shortcut. Actually, hold on. Let me, all right. Before we can do that, you have to move this to a file, like a reasonable file, so that you know where to get it from. So right now, I just have this folder right here. I want this to be in there, so you just highlight this and then drag it into this folder. But since we already have this folder, like all these files in this folder, then it's not necessary for me to do it. So I'll just show you right now from here. Like once you all drag this into this file or folder, then you should see this right here. Alright, so now we want to make a shortcut. So let's minimize this for now. Uh, make a new shortcut. You browse this, and then there's a desktop here. Since the folder is under desktop, then we have to go under my user, uh, my user computer. Then once you uh, click this right here, then make sure you go on the the desktop, and then make sure you get the folder, which is this right here, folder number two, and then. You look for your .exe and this is it right here. So OK. And then click Next. And Eclipse number 2. And the reason why we name it as uh, Eclipse number 2 is because that I already have this download on the shortcut right here. So it's finished. And, it should th and this should pop up right here. So yeah, now this is a working Eclipse shortcut. And now this workspace launcher uh, asks you to uh, to 
like make your location of your work like where you want your workspace to be at so if you don't want it to be here then you can simply uh change it by looking for another uh file all right once you find your file or your workspace location then choose OK. But since I already have it configured already, then I'll choose cancel. I'll delete this because I already oops. I'm gonna delete this because I already have this right here, the clip right here, and it's ready to open. Alright, once you open it up, then you should be on a welcome page, like a welcome screen. It should be blue. Yeah, it should be blue. It's X that out by click on the X somewhere. I think it's on the top left. I'm not sh too sure about that. But make sure you exit that out and then you should be on a blank page without all these in here because I already configured and made a uh, project in the class already which I'll show you how to make soon but like once you make a class on default there's no number line and to, in order to make a number line make sure you go into window and then go to prefer preference I mean and then go on the general um, editors and then on text editor and the default this right here is unchecked so unch no so check this and once you have the check then choose OK if you want to then you can also change another settings on, on your uh, text editors or something that has to do with the uh, settings once you're done with that, then choose OK. Alright, I'll show you how to make this right now. First first off, we want to make a project. And this right here. So select new and Java project. Name your project, which I name as tutorial ready. Once you name it as anything you want, then this should be uh able to be this button right here should be able to be clickable so click on finish and then it should make this file right here and then now we want to make a class since there's no class once we create the project we have to make a new we have to right click this and choose new and class and then type in your class name which is over here mine's ready tutorial dot java so once you type in Java or type in the name of your uh, Java class, then simply choose OK, finish, finish. And then now you should be able to have this right here while I'm at right now. And then I'll show you why we're moving from Notepad++ to Eclipse. I don't know if I say plus three times, but I'm not sure. But yeah, import Java. You already see an error. Because I'm not finished uh, typing it in. So that's a good thing about uh, Eclipse. So you know like how to fix it before you even compile or keep typing it in and then look for the errors. So it's pretty good. Type in java.util. And it's cool. And another cool feature about uh, Eclipse, it'll show you uh, where you want to go like to finish it. Here you choose star if you want everything from a util class or other kind of subfolders but we want scanners only so let's type in scanner and then click on this enter scanner and finish it for you and it's pretty cool and then another good thing is that uh, it'll show you on um, which codes never used so you know what to delete once, you, once you're finished yeah once you're finished coding and you see in um, a blank library that's not even used, then you simply delete it. Cause it takes up space. So yeah, we delete this because we're not even using it. So yeah, this is how you install and configure Eclipse. So this includes my video over. Yeah, I already told you. All right, well, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.